Today's one of those days where I've got a wee bit political. I've had things to say about Tony Blair and some other members of Parliament, past and present. Well, why should this one be any different? You see, our friend Pretty Patel has released a New Year's message, and it's full of all the usual big promises and strong words. And I wonder if any of it will come true. Well, there's one particular group of people she seems to have missed out. <laughs> How do everyone welcome back to the channel for a Sunday? Well, Pretty Patel's at it again. <laughs> yes, okay, whatever. She's released a New Year's message where she says that there's going to be a clamp down on eco protesters blocking up the M25, spur the as asylum seeker applications, and so on and so on and so on. Have a look. More strong words, of course, and to me, not a great deal of substance behind any of it. You know, the eco-protesters thing, that ship has sailed. When was the last time we saw Insulate Britain in the newspapers? Not for a few weeks, I guess. You know, there was that lady that did that hunger strike in jail and drew attention to the cause yet again. But they kept carrying on, blocking all the roads up. You need to get tough with these people. Don't go nip, 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 nip. And then you go on about, you know, all these dodgy asylum seeker claims that are going on every year. They've been going on every year for the God, God knows how many years. And it's not changed. Somehow, I think it won't change now. And I don't think you've entirely got the whole say over the matter. But there's one group of people which you have failed to mention reading through this article, and that is, of course, the dinghy divers, which is a big part of your problem. They're being trafficked, they're being moved over the English Channel in their hundreds every day. And what have you done about it? Nothing. If you put a stop to that, you will solve a great deal of your problems. We've got the old French having a pop at us across the pond there. And, you know, we should be playing hardball their fishing licences. Start negotiating, start telling them what's what, instead of being dictated to. It's ridiculous. That's the big part of this. They're coming over the channel. Those that are being intercepted are being put up in board and lodgings and being dealt with. And I bet I know who's paying for it. And those that land and make landfall on their own, they're buggering off never to be seen again. That is the issue that is what needs dealing with don't give me all this legislation and new laws and new rules that nobody's probably going to follow in a month of sundays get down to dover get down to other parts of the coast where this problem is actually happening and get it stopped there your asylum seeker trouble will come to an abrupt close and it will be something like the levels it was years and years and years ago more empty promises, I'm afraid. You mark my words. Let me know what you think in the comments below, but I'm not convinced by any of this garbage one little bit. Toodaloo!